today I want to talk about element Unun Septium, or 117, element 117. Uh, so if you look at Un Un Sept, it's 117, and the EM basically says that it's an element. And one of the coolest things about these later elements is that they were all pretty recently discovered, and that's why they don't have official names. Uh, Unun Octium is the same way, uh, 118, and I believe 115 is the same way too. And these elements are actually created uh, by bombarding uh, earlier elements. So in the case of 117, you have the Californium element, which is 97 protons. And as you may or may not know, the number of protons in the nucleus determines what the element number is. And you can only have um, one element per element number. So you take an element like Californium, which is 97 protons, and then you take calcium atoms, because calcium, there's something very stable about it. And they basically like bombard these Californium atoms with these calcium atoms. So you have 97 protons and then 20 protons coming from the calcium. And most of these calcium protons, most of them, are they're just bouncing right off, uh, bouncing right off, but then every once in a while they fuse. And when they fuse, then you can add up the protons together and you have 97 plus 20, which gives you 117. And so that makes element 117. To me, it's one of the coolest things because there's really no commercial application to these um, later elements. It's, they're artificially produced. Um, and what they're there for and what I've talked to people about is that they're basically there to discover and, and learn and figure out how matter is held together in our universe. Um, so I, I do think that they have some pretty cool applications, uh, maybe not as obvious as something like titanium or aluminum. It is all about discovery, these later elements.